was a dream that was real. It shall be realized. These are the wishes of Marcus Aurelius. Like on the RX 580, they did run well. All the battle on the map, though. Like it wasn't being fully used. Then again, I didn't run the game on the full like graphic settings, so that might be why. I do now. Except the CPU bound ones like a cloud simulation, because you do need that. You cannot live without that. Fucking stupid fancy graphics shit. Oh my god, this pisses me off. This pisses me off so much. I need to get over there. Wait, what? Yeah, the Batani, hold it. And the Northern Empire declared war on me. Only problem is there's... Uh, there are no mad faction now. And there's nothing over there as you can take. Okay, let's grab a couple more here. Traveling, traveling. Okay, so they did manage to defend that. That's good. The funny thing is, we took this, and like five minutes later, it revolted. Like, what's the point at this point? Actually, what's the point of grabbing any of these, to be honest? Since most of them are gonna revolt because of the culture. Yeah, give him. In the city, he has none. Wait a minute. Western Empire. Uh, there's no way we're gonna catch him. Okay, Chebuchis, definitely. For this one. Maybe I should just auto resolve all these battles, but do you wanna like see what the settlement type is gonna be? I really should I should have downloaded the map pack for the game. Although I'm not quite sure if they I think I remember it adding like new villages to the sit to the game as well. Come on, please knock out the catapults for fuck's sakes. Never mind. Bunch of useless bits. Here is being besieged. Damn, seven and a half million dinar is nothing to use it on. Okay, apparently we took another castle. Played source, not 1.6. Uh, that's about it when it comes to multiplayer games. 
I did play a lot of Left 4 Dead. Okay. We're literally only giving these castles to guys who are from my, you know, faction. Publius. Okay, this is your clan. We're gonna have a shitload of stuff on you. Did only play Source. Yeah, Source and Left 4 Dead, not many. Uh, I did well, I did play Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty Black Ops. After Black Ops, I just uh, you know went back to COD 4. Not much else. You know, you play games till you go to high school, then after high school, you in high school, you have different priorities, to say the least. The infantry stay in the back. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay, this one's pretty good for archers. Can't remember if I played anything else to be honest. Let's multiplayer at least. They play a lot of the um, Total War games, obviously. War band as well. Dawn of War and so on. I mean, I played a lot of games because it was easy to get a hang of the get the hang of the games, right? You know what I mean. Funny, and now I got a shitload of games, and I don't have really time to play any of them anymore, or I just never get around to them. Of course, I played a lot of Stronghold, Crusader, and well, I played a lot of Stronghold too as well. Those were the days. Okay, move a bit this way so they don't actually go through the gates. Oh, never mind, shit. Move. Let's try and get them to, like, move at the, you know, entrance there. Not to the, the other one, like they want to do. Let's see what happens. Look, look. Where, 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 where the fuck are... You pieces of shit. This 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 makes sense. Stronghold 2 and uh, Stronghold Legends is just shit. I have no freaking clue how they managed to fuck it up that 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 bad. The game's so freaking simple and yet they managed to screw it up somehow. 
Well, it's even worse if you like pick up a Stronghold Crusader these days. It's uh, the HD version. And man, I can't see shit on it. The game is so zoomed out, I can't I literally, I can't literally see nothing. On the map, no units or anything. I literally have to pirate the old version to play the game. Which is fucking funny. At this point. Prisoners. Dumb things in there. And again, Stronghold Legends was uh, was kind of iffy at that point as well. Right? Didn't we just take that? Into a point. Traveling. Bunch of shit being raided. This is fucking annoying me as all hell, but uh, taking it, they is just gonna roll back, so no point. Guess let's continue on. I apparently gain the level somehow. Don't wait. Publius or Plumbum. Now let's give it to these. Uh Let's give it to Plum Bum Clan. Really? Wait a minute. Oh, we still didn't give it away, right. <laughs> there you go. Fuck off. Oh, right. I lost cohesion. You're still a teen and yet you played Counter Strike 1.6 throughout your earlier days. How old is Counter Strike Global Offensive at this point? I can't tell. No, I did not want it. Ublius. Have a bunch of castles. Uh, let's give it to him. Oh yeah, that's gonna be easier. Just kill him in there. No, 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 no. Come back, you moron. Good. Yes. <laughs> oh god, what? Your PCs are so shit, you can't play CSGO, is that the thing? Well, I don't mean, well. I mean, there's still people playing, uh, Like Call of Duty, like the first one, and Call of Duty 2. So uh, I'm not sure why I'm surprised. 
warband as well. And like a uh, Construct Global Offensive is full of cheaters and you can't really ban them as well, I guess. And it's all about the loot boxes and all that shit. I guess it's an easy way to make money if you're lucky with them. Granted, you do need money to actually buy the keys for them. It's kind of annoying. It's easy to have fun in Counter-Strike. Don't you mean it's easy to get pissed off in Counter-Strike? Oh, I did play a lot of... Uh, Death Run on Counter-Strike Sewers. That was freaking fun. I didn't need to pay attention that much. Will someone else get the fucking choice? Or be elected? Not the same guys all over I think I like made four of my uh, clan. Only two of them appear apparently. Maybe I should level my guys up at some point. Defense here. And plus, they're gonna be able to like rebuild their ballistas so freaking fast since there's 700 of them in there. Might be an issue. Or, or are you the guy who like buys a top end PC, then play plays League of Legends and you know shit games like that that don't require anything? You bliss. Yeah, sure. It seems Plum Bum gets everything at this point. Let's see if you can actually keep it from revolting, right? A freelance game developer why don't you if you have a good pc why don't you mine crypto with it as well right to so have even more gparts gparts there's not a team on english when i just name like it along for the day where all the ballistas are destroyed wait a minute there is an army behind us around us I dare you to attack me come on actually I don't want to destroy their walls and that's it alright I need to pay attention to the cohesion as well get that up there oh my god we're losing and getting that back so many freaking times is annoying Well, I am kind of into crypto. I grabbed, uh, I mined a lot of Raptor Raptorium. A lot, a lot of it. 17k of it. Before it went, you know, before its price went uh, up. So I managed to sell it off and grab myself an RTX 3070. So, yeah. <laughs> If I make, if I get lucky one more time, I might be able to grab a whole other PC or something, or one of the new GPUs that come out. Uh, for fuck's sakes! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Real tolls. 
Paint, paint it. Prosperity decreased. I'd rather not, but sure. I'll get these, like, as well. We're wrecking their ass, but uh, we're supposed to pay them. Oh. Kind of. And I do, of course, I do mine, like, crypto when I'm not streaming or anything, editing with, well, editing, quote-unquote, rendering the videos. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Well, depends on what GPU you have. Just uh, go to what mine and see how much your GPU is going to make. And CPU, if, if you have a... Well, CPU mining is kind of dead, to say the least. You have to get in on a coin that's not yet been mined out well a lot of it mined out or is not hyped up yet and then hope to god it actually increases in price right like raptorium did i mean i'm he's all cost of which i could really let him out of case they're gonna push you good net up with all me lush that's probably huh I mean, it all depends on when you sell it, I guess. You can mine and hold Bitcoin for f forever if you want. You don't really need to sell anything. It all depends on you in the end. Like a bunch, I got a bunch of Shiba Inu coin, whatever the, yeah, the dog coin, which is, well, bullshit. And, uh, I just have it. I have a million of it. Maybe one day it goes up to a dollar, but then I have a million dollars. Maybe it goes nowhere and I have nothing. Same to me. I didn't waste that much time on it. And I didn't, uh, I didn't invest any money into crypto, so... Well, except like paying the electricity bill, but it's not that much. I'm gonna switch the... One is three is feeling a kilowatt, talk with that. It's not that much. Well, it depends on how much GPU, how many GPUs you have, right? But most of them make money. I wouldn't go invest into GPUs now, though, because Ethereum is going to be proof of stake, so it's not going to be mineable, and that's the main coin you mine. And what's gonna happen after that, who knows. Then again, it's going proof of stake for the last six years. So who knows what happens this time around. Yeah, there's a lot of ifs. I mean... I think it can make a, like a dollar or something. Just go on uh, literally whattomine.com you can look up what it can make there. I think it does like 30 mega, mega hash to a dollar or something a day. Something like that. Which is not much, but it can add up. I mean, I, s I did like s sell like 0 0.04 Ethereum. For a lot less and I sold 0 0.02 Ethereum at one point just because the price went up so even like a little bit it can add up and you can get some money out of it 
you know, enough to buy another SSD to put your games on, for example. Only problem is you're gonna need to find someone who's of age, who's 18, who has a credit card and a bank and bank information to give a give to a crypto exchange. There's BCX. That but 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 six that touch kabal. And there's another one. Can't remember which one though. You can look him up. Or you can just, you know, hold a crypto, you know? Actually interested how much does a 1660 make? You win better, you can like mine up until you're 18 and you get a bank account and all that. Okay, uh, on B, 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 C, B6, you can pay out in uh, onto your PayPal account, but I think you still need to be 18. Yes, yeah, 28 mega hash, so a dollar on Ethereum, more or less, give or take. That's if you mind 24 7 with it. Or if you if it, since it doesn't mine a lot, you can like mine the speculative coins. Like there's you can mine Alphium now. That can go up. There's a whole load of them that can like shoot up in price, but that you no one knows that you can uh, like basically have luck to hit one that actually blows up in price. Sadly, for the most part, it's like. Some big YouTubers that talk about it, you know. Well, shit. No, no, never mind. This is where I need to be, right? No escape. Yeah, you can ju yeah, there's nice hash where you can just mine Bitcoin and then transfer it to some or you know exchange it for some other coins. But um, they have a tendency to when uh, Bitcoin shoots up in price, disable the withdrawals for the Bitcoin, so you can't take it out, which is nice, always. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do. There's, you can you know search up on YouTube. Malted. There's a uh, ton of tech. He's a miner. There's a uh, Balkan Tech Crypto channel, which is our guy from Niche. Brandon Coin. There's some others. But, like watch as many of them as you can, so you get an idea what to do. Oh, I know what I shall do with you. Why, why do they all look fat? Okay, now. 
You are the faction leader, are you? Yes, you are. Off at your head. Let's leave all of this on balance, see what happens. Not sure if it actually changes anything, to be honest. Actually, let's make it defensive. All of it defensive, since I'm gonna be taking all this stuff anyway. Conquering the land, that is. Oh my god, why didn't they just remove this? Jesus Christ. I'm unemployed, I'm a student. I mean, who the hell is employed in this country, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> the only jobs you can work is where you give your freaking uh, health away for money. And I did my uh, the last job I worked. I did a uh, uh, discus. I got, I got a discus hernia. One of my discs in my back like popped out a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. So that was freaking fun. And for fuck all as well. Fuck all money that is. I mean, it's not, not that late, it's only 12. Usually I have a sleeping problem, so it's no big deal for me. Yeah, our guys are just fighting over these two freaking... Pen. Then this one, I can't, I'm not gonna try and pronounce it. And this is besieged already. A fucking course. What about here? Apparently sitting, sitians are not doing anything, yet. Go get them. Go get them. Come on. No, 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 no. Go, go grab them. Grab them. Yes. Or get grabbed. Either way, I'm fine with it. Sure. I'm studying tour hotel management. Tourism and hotel management. But... Um, even that's a little bit iffy now, since, uh, you know, Facebook, Meta, and all that. I'm not going to be surprised if uh, all our generations actually, like, you know, start going to uh, holiday in VR, you know? Or visiting other countries in VR. Visiting, visiting other planets in VR, you know? In the Metaverse or whatever. So, uh, I might have fucked up there as well, to be honest. Best thing is, to, best thing nowadays is to go into a trade. So, like, less people in a trade, the better. The more money you're gonna make. Otherwise, when it comes to college i'm not quite sure which 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 one you're going to go for if i mean if you're a programmer you can go into that any kind of programming language is going to serve you well you're going to be able to find the job i mean you can find the job in crypto as well if you know how to code all the stuff they need so that can work out for you Plus, you're on the inside of the industry. Then you can grab. You can. You have. You have an insight into it. I 
you know, I can't tell, really tell you what to do. I did, I didn't do well in in life, to be honest. I'm an art technician, which um, <laughs> means fuck all. It's actually a disadvantage when um, one of my CVs or biographies says I'm an art te art technician. It might be better if I just re erase that. I don't have a high school, and that's it. Definitely a trade. Or... The, the thing behind it, like tourism and all that, is like people are always gonna travel. You know, you go some places. There's always gonna be someone who needs to service them, that said. Even though I would have the diploma for a hotel manager. I don't know. Same thing. The idea is that. You, the model load. But the tray definitely seems a better idea. Like a car mechanic. I know you're f dirty all the time. It's not a very fancy job, but you're gonna have a shitload of money. Or an HVAC engineer, so... Klima. But I just a Klima. It seems they ban him some industry school. Computer engineer of any kind. Engineer in general of any kind is gonna do well. Or I guess a bus driver, or a truck driver. Those are in high demand these days. If we, if we have to go and face my greatest fear, the Scythians, the horse archers. We are well the, the, the ooh, oh, look at that, nice. I'm gonna have a party capacity of 600 when I can't go over there. All right, uh, what's my party composition? Maybe actually a good idea to like go and grab a ton of archers from one of my garrisons, to be honest. Because uh, more infantry ain't gonna help us. Not at all. It's actually gonna be a detriment, to be honest. See which beef has the most garrison. Like this, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. Okay, this one. Oh, you can't. You can't accept a payment, really. No one wants to pay you because everyone wants to go through the like uh, company, you know, the uh, company, the uh, bank line, or you know what I mean, like through the company, through the, so they can write it off from taxes for taxes and all that. They, you know, you can't like illegally pay someone. You need to have a contract and all that. But you can make a lot of money if you go into programming. That's for sure. And the more programming languages you know, the better. Obviously. I don't know why I'm picking them up. They're not gonna save me. Save me at all. Pick up the Optios. Sagittarius. Centurions. Pick up all the higher T units. And the cab, of course. Roll the limit. Let's leave these in here. Well, I mean, as, as soon as you turn 18, you're going to be able to 
work on other no fiber is for jeep gra graphics stuff only if i remember correctly there's gonna be a bunch of sites you can like get some j freelancing jobs on unfortunately need to look into how much well depending on how much you make uh, the the, uh, the you might uh, need to pay taxes so that's always an issue Sure, we're gonna get rid of three. Let's we'll see how many archers do we have now. Do I have any lower tier units to leave? Not really. We have what? No, never mind. That's a Praetorian. If we have six. If we don't need... Well, we do... Well, you know. Spearmen against horsemen would be nice, right? Here's... Crossbowmen. Look at the archers. What did I get the English accent? Well, uh, playing video games and watching TV shows like everyone else, you know, in on the Balkans. And you, of course, the more you speak it, the better you get at it. Obviously, my English was actually a lot better when I was like 14, 15, 16 in those days. Maybe in when I was like 13 or something like that, which is freaking funny, considering. What the fuck are you doing over there? Tra traveling to your traitor? How's the war against them going? Apparently they inflicted more casualties. Sure game, sure. Well, now they don't want to go at war with the Batania. I went one day. Ooh, ooh. Maybe we'll actually get. Oh god. Maybe the faction is gonna actually disappear once the only like remaining member is the clan, the leader leading clan. Hopefully. Virgins are fucked. We knocked them out pretty good. Okay, let's go with the uh, deer with them with my mortal enemy. Which which area do we want to take out first? That's the question. The north is gonna be tricky because we're gonna go over to war with the Sturgeons again. And the south might be just picked up by the Ezerai once they declare war, which they are gonna at some point. Okay, I need I need to get those guys over here. Or moving this way at least. You know, when I grew up, uh, okay, for for a while, it was like Super RTL, the German t uh, cartoon channel. And then uh, we lost that and got the ca uh, ca Cartoon Network. And we just watched a lot of Cartoon Network, most of, most of my generation. That's why most of us speak English better. I'm not quite sure actually. Like I got the diplomas. Let's see. I I list the mods I got on. Let's see. 
active. Claiming the Republic. So I got the Eagle Rising, obviously. UI extender, butter lib, mod configuration, harmony, all that. More income, more production. Hmm. I'm not actually quite sure if that's on. Or yeah, we can look at this like this, right? So harmony. Okay, these few first mods is what the one, are the ones you have to have. Diplomacy, party, overhaul, distinguished service, attribute per level, improved garrison. So I don't actually have anything that increases economy, which is which is odd for me too. I mean, I'm used to be losing money constantly, unless I actually you know make money. But then again, it might be just because of the fact that the importing range might be just because of the fact that I grabbed everything in the middle and it's not being attacked that much. So, you know, it's constantly making a lot of money. Well, hello there. Oh God, fighting these out in the, oh yeah. Much rather fight these in a settlement. It's gonna be much easier. Okay, we need to get some shit. All right, we can't do this while we're besieging. We need to call someone else in, so I can actually increase the cohesion. Ooh, the butcher! Look at this! Look at this guy with 400 troops on him. Jesus Christ! Biscuit to loyal. Lombom clan as well. Keep you. It's gonna take forever for these guys to get here, but let's grab them anyway. Let's make sure they don't get out. <laughs> I think that one of the field is gonna be a pain in the ass, to be honest. gonna suck as all hell all right I didn't sell these off and I was never into making money with uh, blacksmithing that's too boring for me to be honest best total war game I mean I'd say Rome total war course that's the game of, that they got me into total war back when it released but from the new ones let's say uh, that are historical i'd say attila has some pretty good mechanics even though it's a bit uh, clunky at times I think I'm actually building an auto resolve stack. I might just auto resolve these battles. Although everyone is playing Total War Warhammer now. And I mean, maybe see why it's pretty good. I play, I, uh, I have one, one of my friends and I do have a co op campaign running. Which is with the mod on, which is pretty. Pretty fun. We got surprised, bitch, by the chaos invasion, to say the least, because it's not the not a chaos invasion anymore. On the whole map, a shit ton of freaking little armies. Well, little armies, five like five armies apiece spawn out of thin air. You were surprised, bitch, by that. All right, yeah, we did get another one. Another one of those, nice. Raw silk, nope. And I picked up again. <laughs> I never liked the... Sh 
well, the the, the way that battles work out in that ga those games, like it feels something something always feels off with the gunpowder in the games, like the way the troops line up and all that. Like I prefer Imper Imperial Glory to Total War Empire and Napoleon Napole Napoleon Total War. If you know that game, came up came out like a two or three years before Total War. Uh, Empire and Napoleon, whichever one was the first one. I'm gonna... Oh my god, catching the... Yeah, actually we're not gonna be able to catch these on the field at all. Literally, there's no way we're gonna be able to catch up to them. They're too fast, boy. why I hate fighting them. You can't catch them when they're like not outnumbering you by a million men. And you can't really uh, run away from them when they, they do. I guess I do need to make sure they like no, god damn it. I'll start streaming because uh, I mean I'm I'm gonna play the game, and I have the ability to stream, so I might as well, right? Who the fuck are you? You're a, you're Imperium. Sure doesn't look like it. Maybe because he's uh, bold. Oh, isolated. There's a mod that actually makes it so you, the enemy, don't spawn in, uh, don't get like magic troops spawned in into their parties. I think I'll look at, look up the name of it. I think it's stacks. Something stacks. If I remember correctly. Let me just find. I have it written down somewhere. stacks let's see if we can find it on uh, next mods it does make the game uh, too easy though I could freaking type this one Makes so the AI doesn't actually try. Tired of AI parties getting free troops when they are defeated, only to come back with Dim Stack. Here, here's your fix: removes the free troops lords get when they are defeated and respawn. Now they're just like you. Yeah, this only affects lord parties. And it like it's compatible with every other mod, so it should work fine without any issues. And plus, um, I mean, see me playing it at this point, it's pretty freaking easy, to be honest. I mean, look at the money, look at the, we have more than 500 troops in the party. Okay, let's see, three, what you, three as well, you, two, guess you're getting it. Yeah, look, I have all of this. We have a shitload of troops. Like, look at the, look at here. Twenty k versus five k of theirs. I mean, it's pretty freaking easy at this point, and it is on the highest difficulty. Which I'm actually surprised it's going this well. It's, you know, because you know, and we do have a lot of troops actually, from time to time. 
and we don't actually lose a lot then again all ha most of my party is like higher tier troops so they're not going down as easily actually yeah let's leave it on Chicken King is gone. Well, I do hate horse archers in all the games, especially Total War and this. So I kind of like refuse to play them. I mean, it just the problem is it makes the game too easy, but like it takes a long while to actually do anything. Even fighting the skirmisher only armies it just uh, it just makes so you're like stuck there for half an hour hunting down their skirmishers. It's not really that difficult to beat them. But they just prolonged oh fuck sakes. They just prolonged the battle too much, I'd say. In my opinion. That's the like uh, even like Warband, the Prophecy of Pandor. It's just a pain he has to face the Jathu. Well, at least in the warband they actually charge at you. They don't run or run away and run around you all the freaking day. If we get in a field battle, I'll show you what you what I mean. I don't think we will do. Just look at look at the amount of troops we have. Oh, we might have too much too many troops for them to attack us. I might like need to. Ooh. Yeah, that might be an idea. Like, lead a smaller army so we can actually get a field battle in. And then just siege him all day, every day. I did one uh, like in earlier versions of the game. I did like start the campaign as a horse archer. And grabbed a bunch of archery uh, horse archers as well. And it honestly took too long to do anything, to be honest. Or wooden shields. Best three games to play. Um, well, I'm playing a lot of Vermintide too. And I guess Total War Warhammer at this point and Battle Lord. I mean, the. I do go back to like Total War, the Total War series a lot. For like uh, every year, I installed the Total War, some of the Total War series, and just played through them a little bit. Same as with the Dark Souls series, I do like to replay them each year at one point. Like plays a lot of like Total War games. Well, since they added the deployment, yeah, kind of. And if you don't want to lose all your troops, you do kind of have to be a little bit tactical about it. So, yeah, I'd say. There is an RTS camera mod as well, which makes so it literally is Total War. And they got lazy with the CPU and just started making them cheat of it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, Total War games and even this is like only hard at the beginning. Like, at this point. Oh, I, I could just go around and auto resolve all the battles. There's no. I don't even need to fight them at this point. Honestly. 
We'll show you just gotta go around our through zone. Told war as well, it's only hard at the beginning. You get past the first 20, 30, 40 turns and it's piss easy piss easy after that. Even on legendary difficulty that is. At least for me. Let's see how they fare against, against our infantry. Come on. Yes. Solo battles with all the units in Manlord, you mean? When you can still go around lancing people like you used to in Warband. And even like Total War, if you like grab the Sword of Cain, in the, in, well, in Warhammer, as you can solo armies with lords so that's kind of yeah you can it takes a, a year to actually finish a battle if you go with the lord only in total war warhammer unless uh, it's a mage of course there's guy there's a guy that actually uh, siege down a settlement on his own a castle i think or a city doesn't it doesn't matter like the way he did it is uh, he started the battle, retreated all his units somewhere, then uh, gone like in the back where the archers can hit them, and camped until the infantry came at him because they overwhelmed him, overwhelmed him. Then he ran past them real quick and uh, got into the city and like ran up the wall somewhere where there's a. You know, the uh, uh, arrow barrel and just stood there and, like sniped the rest of the enemies, which, you know, is a thing you can do, but come on. Armies at all settlements. Uh, well, they kind of fixed that in the uh, newer versions of the games. Like in uh, the Warhammer ones, you can have a garrison building and walls and uh, all that. So, which is what I usually do, so I don't have to like turn around the whole army to go back and defend something. I can't actually remember. I don't think there is a garrison building in Rome too, or Attila for that matter. There is, there is for the Romans. I do know that. It doesn't actually add a lot of troops into into the garrison, though. Like one or two, which is well, three, which is fuck all. In Battleload, no, it's really not. I did download a mod that makes it a, mo a bit easier to manage your garrisons, so you don't actually need to go around manually making them. It's called improvement. Uh, where is it? Oh, right over here improved garrison so you can make a template Let's see some something that has troops yeah, look at that you can make a template and you can get recruiters going out and recruiting for you and training them up to the tier you want them to be at and you can make a uh, guard party to go that go around and defend your stuff but i'm not quite sure how to like make them do it but not like deplete your garrison as well plus you can make an entire city or a, a castle to like be your you know the type of troops you want to have in your party you know like make make a template for the troops you want to you know have in your party so it has a, like you have a recruiting city literally basically and you can see it here too like the garrisons are pretty good The garrisons are pretty good. This is without the militia as well. So there's the, there's these guys plus the militia in the city. Which I'm actually surprised that you can hold that many, to be honest. So that makes the game a whole lot easier, or the garrisons a whole lot easier to manage. 
But I mean, hey, why not use mods, right? No, not manage town, Jesus. Dungeon. Dump all of these in. But I'm pretty far in the game. Well, let's actually check. Save. I'm only two years into the game. Into the run. So it's not actually that... Uh, far in, I'd say. Considering how much I've done. Like in the first stream, so like in three hours, I actually... You know, the, uh, had a party close to uh, 200 troops, party capacity that is, and I joined the fa the Northern Imp Empire from one like in three hours. So I do like I don't turtle around like all the other players from what I've seen. I actually get stuff done for the most part. Yeah, they're besieging that. Oh, the motherfuckers snag that off us. I think. Let's see and you can see the rest of the mods there too like these you need to for the mods to work attribute point per level incre incre improved garrison distinguished service so the people the guys who actually like do a lot of get a lot of kills in a battle the troops you can make them into companions which is much better than like picking them up from the taverns and all that because you can never find the ones you need Beta uh, party AI overhaul, that's for the guys you can make another party off in, or, you know, like tell them, uh, like give them exact orders what to do and what not to do. Diplomacy and the mod that has the Romans in. Diplomacy doesn't actually do that much since we can't do half of these. I did want to like form an alliance, but they kind of hate us, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, look at that. Maybe like a for if I formed on my own faction, I could have maybe formed more than alliance, which I am gonna try at some point. If you make peace with them, they're gonna give us money. These guys are annoying as all hell. But apparently, they inflict more casualties as well, and they don't ha hold hold anything. That's the only problem problem with Battlelord, I'd say. You can't really knock out a faction anymore. Like, kill them off. Since they are constantly around somewhere. Which is freaking annoying. Yeah, but let's say I'm gonna let some of these go. Let's actually spend the whole party. Grab four of them. Mm. I guess let's go besiege this because it's right there. I do find ways to break the game and make break games and make them easy. To be honest, that's kind of my thing. Sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> so maybe that's why it's so easy for me. Yeah, let's give it to this guy. I was like, I can't hold too many. I have like too many fives, thieves as is. So there's no point. Plus, like all the Total War uh, series and the, well, even Banlode at this point is kind of, you'd kind of want to play the mods with them. The mods are where it's at, to be honest. Like there's a Warhammer mod being made for this. It's going to be amazing since they already added magic into it. You can actually throw a fireball, which is freaking funny. And waste like half an army when it wants to throw it. Throw it.
maybe a bit overpowered now. Hopefully the guys making the mod actually updated soon. I think the last update was in October or something like that. And there's a bunch of other mods, but uh, you need big YouTuber privilege to get them. Or you need to join the Discord or something. Which, honestly, I don't have the time to like be in a million Discords and see, and, you know, keep up with all of them. There's just no way. Where are the city and armies? Come on. I mean, if, it is, if, it's, if it's gonna be this easy, I'm just gonna move, get a bunch of troops and auto resolve all the battles till we conquer the map. Yeah, look at that. 14 losses. Grab the horses as always. Alright, we have nothing to dump in there. Here's the dungeon. Yeah, this is this is on the highest difficulty when it comes to damage received and the combat AI. Well, there's literally no resistance at this point. He's besieging that. He's besieging. No, he's running from. And oh, let's go get over there. Maybe we can get the battle in. Field battle it is. But it's gonna take us forever to get over there. Let's give it to this guy. It seems that the guys who are like are selected to get these are the ones that are have territory over there already. Now look at that. I I picked the the, the thing where they're gonna oh, oh Jesus Christ. If only I could catch up to them. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I besiege this, they're gonna gather up and attack me. Never mind, we have another army behind our ass. Let's actually see if we can catch him. Ash, catch him. Yeah, we can, no freaking way. They're too fast. They're horse lords after all, right? That army went somewhere. I think they're going up here, if I had to guess. I want to like get in, get in a they're besieging that I want to get a field battle in but um, ain't really easy to catch him I mean at least I assume they're going this way let's see maybe not Yeah, let's go down. Uh, yeah, let's go down there and besiege the. Uh, oh, never mind. There they are. Some of them. Yeah, look, 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 look at the speed on them. Four point nine. I'm two point seven. Yeah, like, there's no, literally no way we can catch up to them. I don't think we're gonna catch. Yeah, he's gonna get away.
No, never mind. Maybe this guy can catch. No, not even he can catch him. Look, look, look. Okay, there we go. Finally. A little bit unfair of a battle, but still, let's do it. A hundred, a hundred guys in the army and sixty of them are fucking skirmishers. Backs to each other, move, Bowman. Make a circle, move. Troop, soldiers, cavalry, take over command. Right up, give them hell. Go. Okay, we might have enough range to deal with these. Actually, enough cab to deal with them. Archers! Move! Archers! Move! Move! Cavalry! Move! Oh god, so many skirmish cow, Jesus. Too bad I'm a beast and I can kill them all. Can't miss. Can't miss. Okay, there I missed. I just charge in. There's not, there's not much point. Not much point in anything else, to be honest. The hell is this? A traitor? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it is a traitor. I think I might need to download the banner paste, I think it is, mod. Which makes it so you can actually, you know, change the banner to whatever you want. Or like the more the one that, had, that gives you more color choices, at least. You can actually have purple, SPQR purple, not the gay purple, whatever the other one is. You need to be born in purple like this. Fancy cloak we have. Not the other bleached or bled out one. And so this is what I mean about prolonging the battle. We need if we look at that. We need to chase each a single one of them down. Until they break. Hopefully they are gonna break easier this, at this point. But I think I'm gonna end it here. It's been four hours. And we conquered a lot. Conquered north. Conquered the... Tanians conquered third of the nations. I think the next stream I'm gonna knock out the Scythians in one fell swoop, more or less. And we just need to finish off the Batanians with the one castle or city they have over there. Hopefully, it's not gonna revolt again, to be honest. And maybe declare war on Sturgeons and knock them out as well while we're up here. 
I might be able to like conquer the whole map in the next one. 